Morning, good Sunday to you. Let Bullets for Life here with another uh, Sunday garage chat. Okay, guys, so uh, yesterday was Saturday. Went out to the range for the first time in like a month. And uh, <clears throat> weather was quite warm, uh, cool, so I had to wear this, something warm. And um, no big deal. Uh, about, well, about quarter to eight, we started lining up. And the line was pretty long. Um, it was a pretty fair day. Yesterday was sunny, but a little cool, like I said. Uh, anyways, uh, when we got to the window, um, the lady asked me if I wanted to get a target. I said, sure. Come to find out that now they charge you for a target. That's what she asked me, but so by the time I said yes, you already rang up an extra dollar. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I wasn't forewarned about that. No big deal. About a you know, dollar's worth of target but anyways uh long story short i guess uh you know the price of things have gone up and this is one way of i guess uh, uh making more money without having to so to speak uh raise the fees again and so i uh, wish was a good idea but uh uh enjoyed myself anyways so uh i commandeered about 20 pieces of uh, 10 millimeter brass using my easy grabber a uh, good old friend of mine the easy grabber and i got maybe 10 380 cases. Um, so yesterday I fired my Rossi 461 and 357 Magnum. Now guys, if you know anything about the Rossi's, they had a recall about a few years ago about uh, replacing the the firing pin on them. I guess if you drop them, you know they'll they tend to go off if you have a round in the chamber. I don't have that problem here, but uh, they had a recall anyways. Anyways, uh, the deal was they will give you fifty dollars. They'll ship it for free and fix it, and then bring your gun back. Well, I talked to a lot of Rossi owners who fell for that little trap. Basically, what they did was they took your gun away, they gave you 50 bucks, and then they uh, switched your gun out with a uh, Model 605. Now, if you guys know the Taurus Model 605, it's nothing like a Rossi. Okay, this is a deep blue. If you look, it's very bright blue. Okay, the new Tauruses have... Um, matte finish, real cheesy matte finish. Uh, the construction is not as great as the old Rossi's. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, not as accurate as these as well. So I'll give you an example. Uh, what they've done was, you know, cutting costs. So uh, in front of your cylinder, you have a, a small swage down there. And this is a, uh, a 3.5.8 bullet, 3.5.7 bullet here. Let me try to get it in the camera here, but I'll get the lubricant on my hand. All right, so what's supposed to happen is that when the round goes it through the, uh, the chamber, it's going to do this number. Okay, if you look, it stopped right there. It's supposed to do that. So when it fires, it goes and gets swaged, goes to the forcing cone, gets swaged again, then down your barrel and gets swaged again. So by the time your 358 bullet goes through the barrel, it comes out about... Uh, three five point two basically and that's how it swages and that, that's where you get your accuracy <clears throat> anyways uh, I decided like many others not to send them in um, some people are still waiting after a year if or more um, and some people have even gotten back the wrong gun they've gotten back nine millimeter pistols by accident so uh, go figure but anyways I decided to keep mine um, there's nothing wrong with it. I bought it legally, fair and square. You know, there's nothing wrong with my handgun. I've had uh, the firing pin fixed on it one time. And what they did was uh, they even uh, ground down my uh, forcing cone to 11 degrees. And it gave it extreme accuracy. And, uh, all right, so here's the uh, target I shot yesterday. 15 yards offhand. And as you can see at 15 yards, you know, you can't see the black too well at that range. But I noticed there was a very few uh, hits on the white. So I figured, okay, I'm still hitting center. But if you look, even on the whites uh, areas, uh, they grew pretty well. So, uh, again, I couldn't see where the bullets were going until the holes got bigger. And then I realized, okay, I was uh, shooting a little bit more uh, dead center. And uh, so I was probably happy with that. So, uh, again, you know, the Snubby performed extremely well with 158 grain uh, round nose bullets and uh, 3.7 grains of HP 38. 
video I made. So, uh, again, about maybe 10 o'clock, started getting crowded over there, but I enjoyed shooting. I took my time. I fired 100 rounds. I aimed uh, 15 yards, uh, dead center, and I was sitting in the black. Now, understand something. It's a black target at 15 yards. I couldn't see whether it was hitting or not, so I put some, you know, see and shoot pasties up there. Uh, to cover the holes, and when it was hitting, that's how I knew I was hitting the target. Other than that, uh, I couldn't tell, so uh, the target, nonetheless, was still in the center, somewhere outside the white. So I fired about maybe a total of 99 rounds to that target, and uh, guys, I still had a great day. Uh, unfortunately, no range footage. Now, uh, because I was standing for about three hours, uh, I didn't feel like uh, lugging any lead around. I was pretty tired, and... Um, it's physically exhausting, you know, going back and forth, 20 pounds of lead, 25 yards and back, you know, and then getting more, another 20 pounds of lead and back and back again. Um, so I decided, well, I'll dispense with getting lead this time, you know, and the shells were good enough. But I had a good time. I spent three hours there. Yeah, three hours from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock and then came home. But anyways, guys, um, I need to clean my handgun out. And um, I want to thank everybody who uh, gave me bullets. And uh, again, uh, I'm grateful to you uh, for your support. And I think I have enough bullets there for to last me next year. And enough lead to last me probably next year too as well. But um, uh, while I was over there, I found some, uh, you know, dud uh, 9mm rounds. And uh, I had took them apart this morning and um, put a new primer in them. Save the powder and then use my uh, Lee Lai turret press to set it back up again. And now I got two uh, re recycled 9mm. Uh, One was a wolf round I had uh, commandeered. Someone had just threw it away because it didn't fire. I took it, took it home, gave it a new home, put life into it again <laughs> as those reloaders are. Um, but, anyways, guys, um, you guys have a super weekend and we'll see you at the range. Or here at the reloading bench. Red Bulls for Life signing off. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.